God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Everybody, come on in. Good evening, everyone. Before I share my saints, uh, praise the Lord. But I come to you this evening. I'm so thankful for uh, the blessings that you bless me this evening to spread your gospel and kingdom. Thank you, Father God, for strength that you've given me. Thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for such a wonderful blessing that you bless me. Father God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ this evening. I pray, Father God, that I'm asking for more wisdom and knowledge and understanding. That you feel me, Holy Spirit, to preach your gospel. Father God, I pray that this evening, Father God, that you bless me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for the whole world. I pray for all the people in this whole over the world, Father God, that let us all unite our prayers to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. This evening, Father God, as I share this message, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, that you refresh my spirit, my whole mind, and my whole heart. In Jesus' blood, I pray. Amen. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. God bless you. Good evening, Berkeley. God bless you. Good afternoon, USA. God bless you, everyone. Good morning, your, uh, Asia. My beloved country in the Philippines. Now it's morning already. Good evening, everyone here. <clears throat> Before I go to sleep, let me share my message to all of you to continue to continue my box of Revelation chapter 6. Now I will read box of Revelation. Good evening, Brother Stephen Carlin. Good evening, Joey Chavez. God bless you, Joey. God bless you. Good afternoon, everyone. So my message continue is God bless you, Brother Stephen Carlin. Revelation chapter 6. I will read all the whole chapter. Chapter 6, 1 up to 17. Hello, Sister K. Molden. God bless you. So, uh, I will read my message. So, it was saying in the Revelation chapter 6, verse 1, I will read all first. So, John, so John was saying in the books of Revelation for his vision, and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, okay, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four, the four beasts saying, okay, come and see. My curse, God bless you, good evening, brother. So in the book of Revelation, uh, was saying, John was saying, I saw the lamb. It means that he saw, he saw Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is the lamb of God. Amen. So that only Jesus Christ can open the cells, open the box of life okay then john was saying i heard okay as it was the noise of thunder thunder in heaven one of the four beasts okay saying come and see and two and i saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him and bow and a crown was given unto him and he went forth conquering to conquer okay so, so John was saying, he saw, behold, a white horse. He saw a white horse, amen, that who sat on him had a bow. It means is everyone, everyone will bow their head and kneel down on or their knee, okay, to bow Jesus Christ, amen, that the crown, the father crown, giving it to him, okay, that Jesus will went to conquering to and to conquer. And three, and when he opened the second seal, okay, when Jesus opened the second seal, I heard the second beast saying, okay, second beast saying, come and see. Amen. And four, okay, and there went out another horse that was a red, okay. And a power given to him that sat thereon to take to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him in a great sword. 
I will read all my scripture first. And five. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And I beheld, and lo, okay, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a pair of balance in his hand. The sixth, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny and see thou heard that the oil and the wine. Amen. Hello, Brother Darinok. God bless you. Mary Villanueva, God bless you. And seven. And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast saying, Okay, come and see. Okay. And eight. And I look and behold a pale of horse, and his name that sat on him was Death. And he followed with him. Okay, God bless you, everyone. It's good. Good evening here. It's going to be midnight already, but before I go to sleep, I will share the message. And the power, okay. Hello, Sharon Lopez. And power, God bless you. And the power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill the swords, and with hunger, and with the death, and with the best of the earth. Amen. So this is going to, in the in the Revelation chapter 6, this is going to happen, okay? Going to happen for the judgment for the last days, okay? And nine, okay? And when he had the open, opened the fifth seal, okay, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, okay, it was saying, how long? It was asking to the Lord, how long, O Lord, amen, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood, amen, on them that dwell on earth? Eleven. And a white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Amen. God bless you, Asim Nawas. God bless you, brother. And 12. And behold, we had opened a six seal because there are seven seals. Okay, a six seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. This is this is the sign. This is the sign. This is the signs of the last days. Okay, so it was saying in twelve, and I beheld when he had opened the six seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. It's going to be happen. The sun became a black and sackcloth. Of here and the moon became and the moon became as a blood amen this is start this is start the world or the earth is shaking okay and 12 when Jesus opened the sick seal because there are seven seal okay and it was saying here <clears throat> there was a great earthquake to the world this earth, okay, the great earthquake, okay, will come. Amen. And the sun, okay, uh, Joey, I'm reading in the books of Revelation chapter 6, now verse 12, 1 up to 17. Now I am verse, verse 12. Then the sun, the sun became a black sackcloth here. Amen. The sun. You can see if how the sun was shining in the morning, then it will became black. Okay, and a sackcloth of hair. And the moon became blood. 13. And the stars of heaven, the stars from up. Amen. Feel, feel unto this earth. Unto the earth. Even as a fig tree cast it her untimely figs. Okay, where she is shaking of a mighty wind. 14. And 
the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and islands were moved out of their places so it was saying even the islands okay islands and were moved islands and the mountain if where is the island or where is the mountain is going to move in their places amen and the king of the earth who is the king of the earth okay and the king of the earth in verse 15 okay and the great men the great men on this earth okay and the rich men it means in the rich people on earth you see even in revelation the great men or the rich men that he doesn't care about jesus christ only they are thinking about their wealthiest so even in the scripture it was saying in the box of revelation here in here in revelation 6 chapter 15 and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman and every free man hid themselves it means is they're going to hide themselves okay here we are if they are going to hide themselves okay in in the dens and in the rock of the mountain it means it for those people okay they trying to hide themselves okay 16 here we are and since to the mountain and this this man that mentioned here the free man okay the free man the chief captain who was in the highest okay who was in the riches in this world okay they were saying they were saying to the mountains okay and said to the mountains and the rock okay it was saying fool on us because they want to hide okay fool on us and hide us okay hide us from the face of him that seated on the throne and from the rock of the lamb so it means eh, the rich people on earth that they are only worshiping the world and their wealth is for those people around the world that they are in power you can see even the chief captains okay to the great men it means it for those like they worship the receptor they are the great people okay it was saying they want to try themselves to hide and talking to the mountains and rock that they the rocks will fall on them okay to fall on them that they will hide to the face who is the face is jesus christ so that jesus will not see them that's why they talk to the rock pull us because they wants to hide themselves but even you hide yourselves under the earth or wherever you want to hide yourself you cannot still hide god still can see us amen everything in this world no one can hide no one can run no one can escape in the eyes of our lord god amen okay here we are so it was saying in the said to the mountain so those people okay so in 17 for the great it was saying for the great days of his wrath is come and who shall be able to stand it means is for the great day okay jesus will come in this world to judge the world hello cc caroline hudson okay and then asking who everyone who all of us will stand able 
to stand until the day until the day that Jesus will come. Amen. So even those in re in Revelation, it was mentioned mentioned in in verse in verse sixteen. So for those people around the world that you want to be rich. If you read the Bible, the Bible was saying, even you gain the whole world, but you lost your souls. This is what saying also in 16. It's all those people who wants to be great, all those people who was in power, all those people who was a great people on earth. Amen. They're asking for the mountain and rocks to pull them, to pull them so that Jesus cannot see. But we cannot run away. We cannot escape. Okay, here we are. I will read. So in Revelation chapter 6, Revelation chapter 6, verse 4, the red horse. Amen. Because in Revelation chapter 6, it's saying here, okay. And I heard a voice of the midst. Okay, I heard a voice. Okay, in the four. And there went out another horse that was red. So verse 4. Okay. So in verse 4, the red horse is a symbol of fire. Fire, anger, and justice. Okay. This, this represent, okay, the red horse is the represent the fire of God. The anger, the righteous, the judgment of God coming, okay? God coming down the earth and the people, okay? So God is allowing judgment to overtake, okay? Overcome the earth. Just like fire, fire overcome or overtake what? Even it may be burning. Okay, so the great sword, amen. The great sword, hello, Kuya Yujin. Kuya Yujin, God bless you. The great sword represent, okay, judgment. It means is the great sword, amen. In the last day, when the heaven is open, amen, and the sign is coming, amen. The earth is shaking, okay? The moon became blood. The sun became black and still had the sackcloth of hair, amen? And then Jesus will come up on the high, okay? Riding on a white horse and still have a sword, amen? It was saying, so the great sword is represent judgment. Okay, justice deep on earth, deep on earth among among the people also, but the weapon itself also also represent especially the huge, powerful. Okay, the horrible battle wars death between nation. Amen. Keep keep in our mind. Okay, the technology of weapons today, amen. The weapons today and the countless, the countless number of them. People also, okay, here we are, wait. People also is calling each, it's, it's like, hello, sister Donabila, it's like, okay, no one time before, okay before other like no other time before bloodshed will be common okay murder murder will run crazy remember the spirit the spirit of peace has been taken from the earth mankind will lost his mind literally amen these are okay these are the times with Okay, we're in Matthew 24. Jesus talked about this. Okay, if you read in the books of Matthew, amen. If you read the books of Matthew, also is 
the coming of the last days of the judgment on earth okay it was saying that in matthew 24 jesus talked about okay there are the beginning of sorrows okay all of this will show how how fake and bad and full of lies of how mankind teaches of humanism amen and the mankind is good okay so the red horse okay in revelation chapter 6 verse 4 the red horse is of war and death amen hello sister on the maker bless you okay so the black horse the black horse in revelation chapter 6 verse 6 or uh, 5 so the black color is representing okay the expression thing used mourning mourning as the color of evil amen okay mourning of the color of evil okay the black color is represent representing okay the expressions of clothing used mourning as the color of evil a pair of scales okay here the black speaks of judgment judgment and famine for the riders carries okay carries pair of scales or balance use weigh food and indicates food shortage of starvation the starvation in this world shortage of food like what we are facing this time the world order in this world the world order that what we are facing is about the fake viruses amen the fake viruses that who had a man made the make people around the world for starving to death too much people starving people into death amen we all know and we all can see amen so it was saying that it was saying that a black horse amen is is balance use a weight food and indicates indicates food shortage starvation in this time right now that what we are facing in whole over the world amen praise jesus whole world was starving to death of hunger in verse 6 okay revelation chapter 6 verse 6 the word measure use represent and amount and quantity meaning meaning very small amount of food amen like this time i will explain like this time what we're facing in the whole world there's a lot of jobless people what the people around the world is doing this time right now waiting for the government give give us for help for only a few amount of food or money every family only they given only given a few amount it means in a short word only likes to eat in one day this is what we call a shortage of food hunger people around the world okay here we are about a quart and size back in ancient ancient greece a man would work all day for basically okay a quarter of wheat amen this is very little very hard amen <clears throat> very hard to stay alive amen a really healthy is ancient in Persia. 
a shoulder was given this to it each day and his ration. Amen. It was just enough to keep going, to keep, to keep them alive. It means is it means it give you a food a little bit to keep you alive. Amen. But it still is not enough for food for all of us to eat. It was like slowly, slowly killing you to death. That's why even the food this time what we are facing, shortage of food. It means it's the whole world struggling about food. Amen. Okay. With a symbolize, <clears throat> a symbolize how bad food is as far as having to eat bare necessity. No more, no more big meals. If you think this time, what we are facing, you can eat a big meals, especially if you don't have war. Only waiting for the government to give you a small, a small dollars that you eat only like only for one times a day. In a simple word, it's not enough for people to eat. Amen. Because suppose we eat three times a day or more if people they have or they want to eat. But of this crisis, it was like you are happy. People are happy if they can eat one times a day. But this time in all over the world, for how many days they can eat? Three days and then they can eat. Especially if those people don't work. Especially in Africa. You can see the people in Africa. Amen. You can see the children in Africa. All skeleton. Starving to death. So then, if this whole world, the rich people around the world, if we do helping hand, okay, we care for everyone. Amen. If we do like this, we are all survive. But it was a big no because people only thinking about themselves. Amen. This is why in Revelation chapter 6, verse 16, it was saying, Those great men, a mighty, a cheap men, okay, a cheap captain for those rich people. It means a rich people or a powerful leader or whatever it is. Because they know that the last day is coming. So then, what they gonna do? They talk to the mountain and rock to fall them. Okay, to fall them. To cover themselves. Because they are scared who was sitting on the throne in a white horse. Who is sitting on the white horse with the having sword. That is Jesus Christ. So if you see one day, if you see from up, is sitting on a white horse holding a sword it means is jesus came back on earth and jesus will judge for this world and people don't believe it but is going to come as soon as possible and this is this is going to happen I will shout to the whole world. I will shout to the whole world. This is going to happen. For those people, they don't have fear in God. For those people, don't have fear in God. Later on, only you can see the sun, the stars, and the moon. Okay, the star fell down on earth. Okay, here we are. So it was saying, okay. So the wit, it symbolized how bad food how bad food is as far as having to eat bare necessity no more a big meals and dinner for plenty for plenty and eating anything everything every person amen 
every person wants to eat. Amen. So no more what we experience today. Today we experience today. No more big meals. Even those I am telling you, even those I am working here, amen, even my boss, also a shortage of financial, shortage of money. You can see even those they are a rich people, even they are, they are a boss shortage of financial it means is it means is we are we cannot eat a big meals even though i am working here i'm struggling my food not only whole around the world amen okay so here we are it was saying so we have eaten and see all across the earth. Across the earth. It means it's all over in this planet earth. Amen. The time will come. Amen. When, when people will having hardly anything but what can be found to eat. Amen. Just like animals. Okay. The grace or search for whatever food it can find the same with us it's the same for we are human if the army if the animal searching their food is the same we are human we searching about our foods to eat amen so we represent represent the last of what was a human call food or can turn turn into God okay into food because after okay after that in the grass weeds flower on the ground amen so a penny represent the same like food like you having a penny of dollars a penny of dollars, a penny dollars in your pocket. Amen. Represent the like food that will be less money. Less money. It means is you have only a penny dollars in your pocket. Amen. Less money and the value of money will drop terribly. It was like only you have like only like one dollar or cents. Amen. So men will work all day for a little just buy enough food to barely stay alive. Amen. So even though you have only a penny of dollars, amen, you need to work to buy, to buy your food so that you can survive. You stay alive. Amen. Because of this crisis, amen. People, you don't understand what's going on in this world? I will answer. People don't understand. Why they don't understand? Because they don't want to hear the truth. Amen. Because people, okay, they don't have knowledge from us. They don't have wisdom from us. Only their wisdom is to use only this word. That is the wisdom of the world. Only they know is about the world. Amen. But about living, living in life. Every day what we are facing, they don't understand. Why they don't understand? Because they, they are lazy to open the Bible to read. But all, all written in the Bible, how the way we live in this world, 
we can search all in the Bible. How to guide us, how to lead us, how to help us, how to understand everything while we are on earth. Amen. So now we are here. We are facing for the last days. Amen. Before revelations, amen, money, money was worth more. Before the revelation, could buy more. Amen. I remember this. Before, I can buy everything. Amen. I can buy everything before revelation. But now we are facing of revelation. Amen. Did you know even in Lebanon, I have my family in Lebanon, Barat Lebanon. Lebanon is part of the so Middle East. Even the dollars, okay, even the dollars or their money cannot change dollar then how the family can send money to their family in the philippines or their own country because the change of their money is too high you see the world the world was struggling not only one nation but whole world so then people you couldn't understand about this all about what's going on in this world you don't have still time to repent for those people you don't have time okay to turn back to our lord god that did you see the whole world today amen the whole world today what's going on the whole world amen you don't hide you don't have time for him from up that even once all of us we can see what's going on in this world Amen. My Lord. Okay. So the oil. Okay. The oil and the wine. What the meaning of the oil and the wine? Good morning, Kuya Byron Gales from Australia. The, the founder of the Good Faith Learning Foundation. The oil and the wine. Amen. There are several different interpretations to this. Okay. The oil and the wine. Amen. So it is okay, a hard need to know for sure. But it seems, amen, that many believe that this represents that during the end time famine. Okay, that the poor, that the poor will suffer greatly. Oh yeah, the poor suffering. Amen. The whole world suffering. Amen. Barely being able to eat and survive. It's too sad. Amen. You cannot feel, you cannot feel in your heart about the situation what we are facing this time. Amen. But the rich, okay, the poor, okay, the poor, saying the poor, the poor people is able being to survive even their foods to eat because we are poor. But the rich, okay, here we are, but the rich, okay we'll have plenty and we'll be able to carry on a usual amen but even those even those those rich people they are struggling but then amen for those people around this planet earth around the world the bible say 
even, even you gain the whole world, but you lost your souls because we have we call the second the so it means is even you you own this whole world you gain this whole world how about your souls you don't want in heaven i think so amen they don't want to live forever they want they want in the lake of fire amen those people believe amen those people believe that even though you went to church every hour amen for those people if you are not repent and accept jesus christ still you are not saved that is was written in the bible amen so remember even though you own you gain the whole world but you lost your souls amen okay so you are saying plenty will be able to carry as usual some the sum also okay say that they represent okay basically certain types of plants amen like the vineyard okay the vineyard plants olive trees okay were created to withstand through draw and famine amen longer the crops like a whip corn okay that will be that will be just enough food for people to just be able to survive to produce to make it means is you can see for those all around the world for those people who, who was poor amen even only what they eat i experienced i experienced when my father was died when my father was die, my father was passed away. I am nine years old. We are the seven siblings. I experienced struggling food only to eat corn and banana. This is the world. Eat corn almost every day, every day eat corn. And I complain already why we cannot eat rice. Only to survive. To keep us alive. This is the world. Amen. So for those people around the world. You need to understand. Understand the world. What we are facing right now. All we need is to repent. Confess. Confess for all our sin. Ask God for forgiveness. Did you know all of us around the world in this planet Earth, if we are all turned back to God and accept Jesus Christ, amen, to defeat all this, what's going on in this world, what we are facing, God will bless the lands of the world. But how God bless us for those all of you, amen, you don't listen from him from up. Amen. You are waiting the time. You are waiting the time that you can hear. Okay. You can hear a great earthquake around the world. You are waiting for the time. Okay. That the star you can see from up till down on the earth. You are waiting the moon is going to be blood. You are waiting the time that every nation is still having a wars or whatever it is. What we cannot do in this world. Amen. Let's all. Let's all pray. Pray to one another. Let us all. All of us. Amen. Repent. 
in Jesus hand in Jesus hand we are saved amen we cannot hide anywhere we cannot run anywhere amen even those even those you are trying to do whatever you want to do it but you cannot hide yourself in the eyes of our lord god everyone all of us amen this is you need to put here for those people around the world who are trying to cheat every nation around the world or whatever amen you are trying whatever you want to try still we cannot hide amen to remember to all my brothers and sisters in christ to all of you to all my brothers who sharing the gospel share the true gospel let people hear the truth around the world share that the last day is getting near share that all of us pray to one another share for everyone let us all everyone support to one another preach the true words of god people will understand what we are sharing in this world amen all we need all we need jesus all of us don't wait we have time you have time right now you have time it's not too late amen even those how people powerful around the world is still in god's hand is still in god's hand is still god is in control amen it's not too late for all of you amen don't worship for any anything belongs to the world only one from up amen i will read again revelation chapter 6 i want you to understand okay i want you to understand amen 15 to 16 i will repeat it to read for those people around the world who was in power who was in wealthiest riches in the world 15 and the king of the earth okay the king of the earth everyone you know who is the king of the earth amen okay and the great men you know what is men of the great men okay and the rich men you know you understand what is the rich men the great men and the king of the earth you understand all amen and the chief and the chief captains what mean it means is to the higher higher who was in position higher amen and the mighty men okay and every band man and every free man i read i read all of this hide themselves hid it means is hide themselves they hide themselves for the last days 
because they are scared amen they are scared they will see okay they will see who was sitting on the white horse from up now they hide themselves okay in the dens in the rocks of the mountains those rich people this is they gonna do they will hide themselves they thought they thought they can hide but anyone so all of you you can hide you cannot hide anywhere amen those people don't understand what is your power from the most high amen this is you need to know you have power you have power to the most high you didn't have power only power on earth he is from up who is the most high of course from up not on earth earth is down it means in understood if you have it, wisdom is from up amen okay 16 and these people in verse 15 the rich men okay the rich men the chief captain the mighty men of what i'm reading in in verse 15 in 16 they said they said to the mountain and rocks you can do imagine those people they spoke to the mountain and rocks is saying fool on us so if this is the mountain i will tell to the mountain fool on me so that i can hide to the face who was sitting on the white horse this is what they think they can hide it's true and hide us you see they will spoke to the mountain and the, the mountain and rock the saying hide us what is the power of the mountain and the, and, and the rocks why this rich rich people talking to the mountain and rocks to call them and saying hide us amen okay from the face do i say from the face of him it means hide us on the face of jesus christ who was coming amen that seated is seated on the throne it means is that seat on the throne that the father god giving all his power to him to jesus christ amen and from the wrath of the lamb so if those people couldn't understand couldn't understand if no wisdom from up no knowledge from up of course is very hard to understand only people can understand if they have the wisdom from god and knowledge of god amen if you think if you think you can hide to our lord god for his coming on earth nobody can hide nobody can run even though you hide under the earth the answer is he is the one made all of this in a simple words you cannot do nothing what we gonna do this time is not too late amen it's not too late we have time to repent we have time 
to confess amen ask for forgiveness accept jesus amen if all people they understood all about this amen the world the world remember the world god will help the lands of this world but remember the time will come this is why all people who are sharing the gospel you need to speak the true words of god don't teach and mislead thousands of millions of people for those who are who are preaching the gospel amen even those even those you are trying the best as you can but remember the words of god god knows his words if you are the one only to share the gospel amen for those people around the world number one amen i am telling the truth and the truth is the truth god from us watching us amen so i share this audio this evening revelation chapter 6 1 up to 17 the whole box of revelation so, amen so everyone for all of us now we feel struggle we feel starving we feel hungry for those people around the world that who are richly living let us all the helping hand around the world let us all we can see okay that everyone need help let us all share if what we have amen sharing sharing caring loving praying this is all we need amen so god bless you everyone here thank you so much uh, it's going to be very late for me already this morning here brother great bridging you thank you so much for being on victory Bear. god bless you Stephen, brother Stephen Garland, thank you so much. Joey Chavez, God bless you. I'm reading in the books of Revelation chapter 6, 1 up to 16. We are, we are in Revelation, what we are facing this time. Amen. All my brothers and sisters in Christ who are sharing the gospel, speak the truth that have the love and compassion for Jesus Christ amen all people needs to accept jesus and repent in this world amen sister kim bolden god bless you mike perks god bless you mary villanueva darren knock god bless you sharon lopez asim nawas thank you so much sister caroline hostan sister akoya eugene watching from Canada. thank you so much Kuya eugene god bless you thank you for everyone sister dona villa can uh, god bless you really appreciates all of you sister ronda may Raquel Maginis, God bless you everyone. Thank you so much everyone here. Kuya Byron Galis, thank you so much Kuya Byron watching from Australia. God bless you Kuya Byron, good morning Australia. My cousin from Iloilo City, Philippines, Lourdes Bayo, God bless you. She is watching. Lynn Balaki, God bless you everyone here. Thank you so much. Appreciate all of you. Big Titi Bear, thank you so much. Bradley Gretel Senior, Joey Chavez, Kuya Byron Galis. Thank you, everyone. Before, before I say good night to all of you, continue praying for Sister Valerie Black. Sister Valerie, uh, Valerie Black, so she's still in the hospital. Let us all united our prayers for her. Okay, that she was struggling for her cancer sickness. Let's pray for her, and also praying. For Jima Kosipag also was having cancer, was working in Bahrain. All of you, all my brothers and sisters, 
or prayer warriors that pray. Amen. And also for Kuya Robert Burn in West Africa need prayers also for his complication for for help. Rabbi Berasso, Pastor Piper Kim Kirk, Sister Donna Bella need prayers. Sister Evelyn True from West Africa and but Brother Joey Chavez for her, his uh, cousin in hospital that was in coma. Amen. Uh, Joey Chavez, your uh, cousin. Uh, we pray for your cousin that hit by car that was in coma. Hope he was awake this time in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And prayer also for Stephen Carlin. <coughs> for who need prayers. Amen. Who needs prayer and also for all the colleagues and friends of Mary Rams. Any prayers? God knows. God bless you. Thank you, everyone. This is Bella Ostaga, the founder of Bella's Ministry, the Power of God Church, and the Power of God's Ministry, Warrior of Christ and United for Christ. God bless you. But the Power of God Church is a real building church in Manila, Philippines, and we are the team, professional team foundations, the Good Faith Learning Founder, Byron Gales from Australia. We are helping children. We are feeding children, even though it's crisis. Amen. If who help us, who help the Power of God Church, visit my web page, the Power of God, www.thepowerofgodchurch.com. God bless you and good morning. I'm, I'm really, I feel sleepy. God bless you, everyone. Thank you so much. And I appreciate all of you, Brother Roger, Roger Collins, or prayers. This is what I'm always saying. If we need pray, prayers, let all united prayers who need prayers. Amen. Let us all show our love for everyone, our care for everyone. Amen. Let us all help for everyone. Amen. Good evening. Now it's morning already. God bless you, everyone. Thank you so much.